An earthquake happens when the tension built up in the rocks of the Earth's crust is suddenly released. We often see this reported on the news as a number, like a magnitude 6 event. This magnitude number represents the moment magnitude, a scale scientists use to rank how big an earthquake is based on how much energy it produced. But the magnitude number actually doesn't have as much to do with what you would feel at the surface as you would think, because your experience of an earthquake depends on a lot of other factors. Take the Swansea earthquake, which happened on Saturday the 17th of February in 2018, a magnitude 4.4 earthquake. If you were standing directly above the epicentre of this earthquake, you might have seen something like this. This represents the earthquake's intensity of ground shaking, measured by the European Macro Seismic Scale, or EMS. This is an EMS-5. But if you felt the same magnitude 4.4 earthquake 100 miles away in Plymouth, your experience would change, even though the size of the earthquake didn't. In Plymouth, you'd be more likely to see this, which is an EMS-3. So, because the way an earthquake is experienced varies depending on where you feel it, which is influenced by how far away from it you are, if you are inside or outside, and what the rocks under you are like, magnitude is helpful, but intensity of ground shaking is a useful alternative. If you feel an earthquake in the UK, you can report your experience and help us better understand earthquakes by going to this website.